What happens when you vanish? Not with a bang, but with a whisper. The world shifts. Hearts skip beats, egos tremble and minds race, filling the silence with stories. Strange, isn't it? The power of your absence often screams louder than your presence ever could. Before we dive into the depths of Stoic philosophy, ask yourself, why do people feel so much when someone just leaves? It's because absence is a mirror. It reflects their insecurities, unspoken words and unresolved emotions. But here's the twist. This isn't about them. It's about you reclaiming control over your narrative. Seneca once said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. When you step back, you strip away their expectations, their demands, their noise. You remind them, and yourself, that freedom begins where attachment ends. But let's be real. Disappearing is bold. It takes courage, strategy, and a deep understanding of your own worth. It's not about running away or ghosting irresponsibly. It's about embracing what the Stoics call apatheia, a state of emotional clarity where external chaos no longer dictates your inner peace. So, here's the deal. By the end of this video, we're diving into why disappearing shakes people to their core, how it ties to Stoic detachment, and most importantly, how this move can elevate your mental resilience. If you've ever wanted to hit the reset button on toxic relationships, overexerted energy, or even your own overthinking, stick around. And hey, if you're loving this already, hit that like button. Subscribe for more content that flips the script on life's struggles and hands the power back to you. Because we're not just about surviving the chaos, we're mastering it, ready to see what silence can teach you. Let's get into it. Lesson 1. Silence speaks louder than words. Imagine walking into a room where everyone is talking. The voices overlap, competing for attention, each one louder than the next. Now, picture what happens when one person suddenly goes quiet and walks out. It's a strange thing. People stop, they notice. Their curiosity grows. That's the power of silence. In Stoic philosophy, this isn't just a social tactic, it's a profound life lesson. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Choosing silence and distance is not about ignoring people or being rude, it's about reclaiming your energy and attention. Often, we overestimate the impact of our words, and underestimate the weight of our silence. But silence can do what words cannot. It forces others to reflect. When you withdraw, you create a void. And in that void, others are left to confront their own thoughts and behaviors. In practical terms, this lesson teaches you to step back when situations become overwhelming or toxic. Say you're in an argument. The natural instinct is to defend yourself explain or retaliate but what if instead you simply stopped engaging by doing so you signal that your peace is more valuable than proving a point this act isn't weakness it's strength it tells the world that you refuse to be pulled into chaos but silence isn't just about dealing with others it's a tool for yourself in a world filled with endless noise silence is where clarity lives Epictetus wisely said, We have two ears and one mouth, so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. When you step back from the noise, whether it's from people, social media, or your own overthinking, you create space to actually listen to yourself. What do you need? What do you feel? What truly matters? Practicing silence can be transformative. Start small. Take a day each week to unplug from distractions and simply observe your thoughts. Or, when faced with negativity, choose not to respond immediately. Notice how your silence shifts the dynamic. People might feel confused, even frustrated. That's because silence is powerful. It's a mirror reflecting their emotions and actions back to them. Ultimately, silence is an act of discipline, 
one that teaches you to value your inner peace above all else. The Stoics believed in living according to nature, and nature itself demonstrates this truth. A tree doesn't argue when the wind blows, it simply stands firm. Likewise, you don't need to justify your existence or actions to anyone. Your silence can say everything for you. By mastering the art of silence, you communicate confidence, clarity and control without uttering a single word. It's the first step toward embracing stoic detachment and taking charge of your own mental resilience. Because when you learn to be silent, you stop being reactive, and that's where real strength begins. Lesson 2. Absence creates presence. In a world obsessed with constant availability, choosing to step back is a radical act. It feels counterintuitive, but it's rooted in an essential stoic truth. You are most valued when your presence is not taken for granted. This idea aligns with the wisdom of Epictetus who said, know first who you are and then adorn yourself accordingly. By deliberately creating space between yourself and others, you redefine how you are perceived, treated and valued. Absence isn't about abandoning people, it's about making your presence meaningful. Think about it, when someone is always there, their energy, support or even love can start to feel like a given. Over time, people may stop appreciating the effort or care you bring into their lives. But when you withdraw, whether physically, emotionally or even digitally, you disrupt that pattern. Your absence forces others to feel the weight of your contributions and the void left in their place. They begin to notice the small things they overlooked your kindness, your reliability, or the sense of peace you bring. From a stoic perspective, this isn't a manipulative strategy. It's about protecting your energy and teaching others the value of reciprocity. Seneca wrote, withdraw into yourself as far as you can. Associate with those who will make a better man of you. Welcome those whom you yourself can improve. When you step back, you create an opportunity to evaluate the relationships in your life. Are you surrounded by people who lift you up or those who drain you? Is your presence fueling mutual growth or is it being taken advantage of? Absence gives you the clarity to answer these questions honestly. Practicing absence doesn't have to mean dramatic exits or cutting people off. It can be subtle yet intentional. For example, if you find yourself constantly saying yes to every request, start setting boundaries, say no occasionally, and watch how people react. Their responses will reveal who respects your limits and who only values your compliance. Similarly, in moments of conflict, try stepping away rather than arguing. Absence allows emotions to settle and create space for reflection, both for you and for the other person. Absence also has profound effects on your own mind. When you're always present, you risk losing sight of your priorities and becoming overwhelmed by the needs of others. By stepping back, you reclaim time for self-reflection and growth. Marcus Aurelius often emphasized the importance of solitude in his meditations. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. Absence isn't just about creating space for others to miss you. It's about giving yourself the room to reconnect with your inner world. Ultimately, absence doesn't diminish your importance. It magnifies it. It teaches others to appreciate your presence and allows you to strengthen your own sense of worth. The Stoics understood that absence isn't a loss. It's an opportunity to gain perspective both for yourself and for those around you. So, don't be afraid to take a step back. Sometimes the greatest gift you can give yourself and others is the power of your absence. Lesson 3. Detachment is the key to freedom. Have you ever felt chained by the need for approval, love or control? 
Stoic philosophy teaches us that true freedom doesn't come from getting what you want. It comes from letting go of the need to have it in the first place. This is the essence of detachment, a cornerstone of Stoicism. As Epictetus said, freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. When you master detachment, you free yourself from the grip of external circumstances and emotional turbulence. Detachment doesn't mean apathy or indifference. It's not about pushing people away or refusing to care about the world around you. Instead, it's a conscious choice to value your peace of mind above the uncontrollable outcomes of life. Imagine standing in a storm. You can't stop the rain or the wind, but you can decide how you respond to it. Do you panic and try to control the uncontrollable, or do you find shelter within yourself? Detachment is that inner shelter. In relationships, detachment can be transformative. We often cling to people, not because of love, but because of fear, fear of loneliness, rejection, or losing a sense of identity. But the Stoics remind us that no one truly belongs to us. Seneca wrote, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By letting go of the need to control others' feelings or actions, you allow relationships to flourish naturally, free from the suffocating grip of insecurity. Paradoxically, this makes your connections deeper and more genuine. Detachment also applies to material possessions and ambitions. The world teaches us to equate our worth with what we own or achieve, but the Stoics challenge this mindset. Marcus Aurelius urged, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. By embracing detachment, you stop obsessing over outcomes and start focusing on what truly matters, your character and your actions. This perspective doesn't mean you stop striving for success. It means your happiness isn't dependent on it. Practicing detachment requires self-awareness and patience. Start by identifying areas where you feel overly attached. Is it a person, a job, or even an idea of how life should be? Next, remind yourself of the stoic principle of amor fati, love of fate. Accept life as it is, not as you wish it to be. For instance, if you're passed over for a promotion, acknowledge the disappointment, but don't let it consume you. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? What's my next step? Detachment allows you to shift from emotional reactivity to constructive action. Ultimately, detachment is a gift you give yourself. It frees you from the exhausting pursuit of control and opens the door to inner peace. By letting go of the things you cannot control, you gain mastery over the one thing you can, your response. And in that response lies your freedom. As the Stoics understood, true power isn't about holding on, it's about knowing when to let go. So here we are. We've taken this journey through the power of silence, absence and detachment. Tools that not only change how the world sees you, but how you see yourself. Here's the question. Did it spark something in you? Did it make you rethink the way you've been giving your energy to people, places or things that don't deserve it? I'll bet something clicked. Maybe it was a realization that you've been holding on too tightly or that your silence could be more powerful than a thousand words. That's the beauty of Stoic philosophy. It doesn't just sit in dusty books. It sneaks into your everyday moments and flips the script. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I want you to carry this conversation forward. What's something you've learned about yourself recently? What's a situation where you realized the battle wasn't worth fighting or where stepping back gave you unexpected clarity? Comment below with the phrase mind over body to let me know you've read this far and to show me you're ready to master your mind like a true stoic. Oh, and don't just keep these insights to yourself. The truth is, the more we talk about these ideas, the more we inspire others to take control of their lives. Share this video, 
tag a friend who needs a reminder to reclaim their peace or bring this up in your next conversation. You'll be surprised at how much people resonate with the idea of detachment and silence. It's something we all secretly crave but rarely know how to practice. And before you go, make sure to hit that like button if this made you think, even for a second. If you want more stoic lessons and practical ways to simplify life's chaos, subscribe and turn on the notifications. This isn't just a channel, it's a space for people like you and me, people who want to live with more purpose, less noise and a whole lot of clarity. Let's make this a community where we grow together. So, drop your mind over body moment in the comments and let's talk about how silence and detachment are changing our lives. Because the truth is, your story might just be the spark someone else needs to start their own transformation. And remember, your silence isn't empty, it's full of power. Your absence isn't loss, it's recalibration. And your detachment isn't indifference, it's freedom. So, what's your next move? I'll be in the comments, waiting to hear your thoughts. Let's keep this journey going.